Okay, folks, had no intentions whatsoever of making a video on a Tuesday night. Uh, didn't have any intentions on making anything until the weekend. But uh, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm pretty mad and pretty upset at this point in time. The reason why that I'm mad and upset is uh, I was in bed last night trying to rest, and uh, Chaplain Bob Walker, he... Uh, came on with a video last night and uh, I hadn't heard from him in a little while and come to find out YouTube gave him a strike on one of his videos and took four more of his videos off That's what they done and uh, that really got me riled up I really shouldn't have got riled up that late at night but I did and so I I've thought about this all day long, and I've got mad enough that I just want to get this off of my chest about what, what's going on with this. It seems like the people who are telling you the truth, who are telling you what's going on really, they're the ones receiving the strikes on these videos. And uh, you take a look at the One World Order preachers, these people aren't receiving strikes of any kind. They're getting, they're not, they're not getting anything at all on their, uh, their, uh, uh, their videos, none of that stuff. So, uh, I just wanted to make this video this afternoon to tell you that you need to see the distinction of what they're doing. They're trying to make a way with the people who are really doing a good job of giving you the truth right out of Scripture. And the people who are deceiving you about a lot of this stuff, they are not. Now, like I have tried to tell you before, and I'm going to tell you once again, these preachers that are on television are New World Order preachers. That's why they're not getting strikes on YouTube. Okay? And you might say, well, Jerry, are you sure that every single one of these preachers, I'm absolutely sure every one of them is New World Order preachers. Satan runs this world. And if he didn't run this world... They wouldn't be prosperous. And you might say, well, okay, you got something against them because they have the big jet airplanes and the, the big fine cars and all this. And that. I don't. But Jesus clearly said that you can't follow him under those kind of circumstances. And you might say, well, Jerry, uh, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, let me, let me read something for you really quick. Okay. <laughs> And behold, one came and said unto him, Good Master, what things shall I do that I may have eternal life? This is Matthew chapter 26, by the way. Chapter 19, verse 26. Well, 16 through 26. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He said unto him, which Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear a false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor and thyself. <coughs> and the young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from your, your youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, I thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. In other words, Jesus is telling him, if you want to follow me and be more Christ-like, go sell, go give what you have to the poor, and follow me. Okay? But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Then said Jesus unto the disciples, Verily I say unto you that a rich man shall wholly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, what I'm trying to get at this is, folks, if these New World Order preachers that has all this big finery like they have, if they're indeed following Jesus Christ the way they say they are and trying to be more Christ-like, why don't they give, they give all the way to the poor right there and simply follow him then? You know they're going to do that, don't you? They're false. That's why. 
That's exactly right. They're not getting any strikes like Bob, uh, Bob did. Bob's telling you the truth, folks. The only thing that Bob done, he was reading scripture, straight scripture right out of the Bible, and he was letting it tell a story. That's how he does. And when he when he done his teachings through, uh, when he done his teachings through straight scripture, that's what could, was conveyed in on YouTube. And so basically what they've done is this. They really didn't ban Bob Walker is what they've done. They really banned the Holy Bible is what they did. And so it, it's already began the falling away of the church, you see, because what has happened is today it's going to be the teachers. Tomorrow it's going to be the banning of the book itself. Okay? That's what it's coming to. Today it will be the truthful teachers. Tomorrow it will be the actual book. They will make away with this book eventually. This is what they're after. The teachers come first. This comes second. And like I tried to tell you, the only thing, the only thing Bob was doing was, was teaching straight out of the Bible, folks. And they banned what he had on television. But then you take these uh, charismatic and evangelical preachers that you got on TV, they're not bothering them at all. You know, I was sitting there a moment ago and took a look at what John Hagee made here in the last little bit. He's filling you full of so many lies, it's not even funny. Telling you that, you oh, you know, uh, you, you better get ready for the fight. The fight is coming to the gates of Jerusalem, is what he said. Let me tell you something, folks. The fight of the devil ain't coming to the gates of Jerusalem. The devil's running Jerusalem. Okay? Simple as that. And if you don't believe that, I don't know what to tell you. You're going to see my video this weekend if it stays up. But anyway, these people have been designed to do this from the, the first day. They've been designed by Satan to do this in the very day that we're in. And you might say, well, now, Jerry, you mean to tell me that they have been involved in a cabal to where he has actually got all these people together to deceive mankind and deceive the masses the way that they're doing? Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And let me tell you something. Jesus' half-brother Jude, chapter 1, verse 4. Let me read what he said to you about this and the days that we're in with these false preachers. For certain people have crept in unnoticed who long ago were designated for this condemnation. Designated for it. Designated means it was planned. Ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into sensuality, sensuality of the big fine cars, the big boats, the big prosperity stuff and deny our Master and Lord Jesus Christ. Let me remind you again of something. You are not greater than the Master. You are the servant. And this prosperity preaching, folks, and this, this idea that you're going to be on a big golden ride out of here, when all of this starts breaking loose, you're going to be in for a big surprise, okay? Because, number one, you're not in for a big John Hagee train ride out of here, number one. You're going to be right here when all this is going on, okay? So don't think you're getting out of here. And number two, you're going to be greatly deceived here in these end times about what's going on. As a matter of fact, the Lord told John the Revelator in the end times are, for by thy sorceries all nations were deceived. And I know what he means by that. You don't, but I do. But I want you to stay tuned for my video this upcoming weekend. It may stay up, it may not. I guess it won't. There's anything that's got any truth to it. You know, uh, Bob, he, he teaches purely right, right out of the Bible. And, and, you know, Bob, he'll even tell you straight up that he thinks eventually the church will end up in the woods. It'll end up in the wilderness. And that's probably what's going to happen. Because they're already attacking every single truth-giving person that there is. And they don't care. They're attacking them. And it's already began. While in the midst of that, the big one world order, order preachers are being left alone. Why? Because they're not telling you the truth. That's why. They are being left alone to push an agenda that's false, folks. While the people like Bob that are telling you the truth, the people like me that are telling you the truth, the people like a call for an uprising that are telling you the truth, we are the people that's going to be cast aside. I'm probably not going to last long on YouTube. 
I'm probably not going to last long at all. As a matter of fact, I told you from the beginning when I got on here that I wasn't here to build a, a mega uh, YouTube channel. Because right now is definitely not the time to be on YouTube if you're a Christian. Right now is the time to be on YouTube to be a Christian about like uh, it would be a time to be a, uh, a gunsmith right after the communist revolution. I mean, the, the timing is just all wrong on it. I'm not going to profit from this. I'm probably not even going to last. As a matter of fact, I've, I've spent a lot of my own money out doing a few of these things. Uh, I'm not going to make any money off this. I'm probably not going to be on here long, guys. But why would I have a voice and why I can still say something? I'm going to say it. Now, my video will be up this weekend. I'm going to try to get it up by Saturday night. So, it's a video that I've worked on for a long time. Probably going to be about an hour long. And I can put it up and everybody can maybe get to watch it. And then after that, all the, uh, all the heat-seeking missiles for the new One World Order and Antichrist can find it. And they can shoot it out of the sky while they're at it. So, it is what it is, folks. Thanks for watching.